there we go. All right. Hi, everybody. Um, if you don't know me already, I'm Megan Vanoy. I am a myofunctional therapist who is based in Portland, Oregon. I'm actually wearing my, my Grip City Blazers shirt today because the other shirt I was wearing was really wrinkly. And then I went to go de-wrinkle it. And then I really realized I also like spilled something on it. So here we are in my Portland Trail Blazers t-shirt because that is the vibe of today. So um, I'm so glad that you guys are all joining me for our webinar, getting more patients to say yes. What's the secret? How do how does my practice bring in 15, 20, 25 patients a month saying yes without uh, too much hesitation? And if we do, how we strong arm them in anyways, we call that handling objections, okay? And I have a little slideshow that I'm gonna share with you in just a moment, but really what I wanna start off with is there's kind of two different ways we can enjoy this workshop, all right? You can have a piece of paper out, take notes, really absorb all of the information, get an idea of what it is that we're doing, okay? Um, or if you're someone who wants to have multiple, you know, multiple screens up, texting on your phone, I'm only looking at my phone just in case anybody's like, I can't get in, and then I'll have Sandy go help them. But, um, you know, and just kind of be distracted, half kind of in, half kind of out, whatever your choice is. I would love for you to be all in, obviously, but um, to get the most out of it because this webinar really has no secrets when it comes to uh, how to close sales. Actually, I we have someone who is joining boot camp next in September who was just watching all my free videos and was closing patients. She closed like four patients after just watching my free stuff. So, um, which is why it's there, which is what we want. So even if you decide, hey, I don't wanna do anything, I'm just here to listen. If you're not in my Facebook group already, we can drop the link in. Sane, can you find the link for it actually for me? Sane is my operations manager, Sane is my right hand human. Um, I don't survive the day without her, but uh, <laughs> I'll give you guys the link to my free Facebook group if you're not already in it. Everybody's welcome, we do trainings every week. Uh, so, what I want to start with as I am going to share my screen here. Do, 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 do. I love a good Zoom share screen. We're going to see how this, that's how Canva lets me present this. Sometimes Zoom and Canva get really mad at me for like using each other at the same time. So we're going to see what happens. Perfect. Okay, Sandy dropped the group in there so you guys can hop in if you're not already. Present. There we go. All right. Hi, everybody. I guess I probably could have had this up at the same time because this is like everybody can just be super, super calm. So I don't know how long everybody's been in practice. I don't know who is new. I don't know who, um, you know, who really hasn't really kicked things off, who's been in for a long time, but you're just trying to continue to grow. And what I wanna be able to do is help everyone no matter where, really truly where you're at. So um, most likely you're on this, you're on this call, right? Like you're here because you are tired of getting patients in your door and they don't say yes. And actually what I want, actually what I want you to do is I want you to think about this for a second. What are your three, what are your three biggest frustrations? Like what are the three hardest things that you are finding in your practice right now? Write them down. If anybody's brave enough to put them in the chat. Um, if you're brave enough to put them in the chat, but only like private message them to us, that's fine too. But what I have been finding with most practices with most, you know, sales, kind of sales-based healthcare practices, right? We're, you're tired of the grind of working so hard, trying to get people to refer to you, tired of always trying to educate everybody else. And you want the shortcuts and you want the secret, right? Maybe you are tired of trying to balance being a mom and balance trying to grow a business and your brain's always in a million different places and you don't ever feel like you can focus on one thing. Or by the end of the night, you're so brain dead 
that you don't have anything left in the tank to pour into your business. Um, maybe you're frustrated because you feel like everybody else is being super, super successful and they know this like big secret and you don't know it. Um, that's also not true. <laughs> um you know, okay, um, Cindy shared, she doesn't feel like she's presenting my information well enough. So maybe it's the education piece that you feel like you're not super, super confident in, you're frustrated because patients aren't understanding what you do. Doctors aren't understanding what you do. Nobody but people basically in this group understand what you do, perhaps. And you feel like when people look at you like you're an alien who has three heads when you try to describe what it is that you do. I don't know if that's anybody, but... <laughs> That was me early on. So I started my practice back in 2016. Um, there wasn't a whole lot of us around at that point. Um, and it was like when I was trying to find the right people and trying to find things that, you know, like people looking at me like I was crazy or they're like, oh, that's interesting, but I don't really know what that is, right? Yes, okay, so reluctant to reach out to other providers to build a team. There's a little bit of fear of putting yourself out there, right? Like you're holding yourself back. The fear of rejection is real, right? Um, and then we've got lack of referrals due to lack of knowledge by other providers. Absolutely, Katrina. That is one of the biggest things that we have seen over and over again. Um, feeling, Cindy, feeling clumsy during the mile eval itself. Yeah, feeling frustrated, like you don't have a rhythm, like you don't have a flow. We're going to give you that rhythm and flow tonight. Um, so you can start practicing that even more. Okay, so obviously we definitely got some big frustrations here. Um, and really, so then let's talk, let's talk further. Okay. Frustrated. You're like, what's the secret? How's everybody else doing this? Like, how are people able to like quit their day job to actually be a full-time myofunctional therapist? How do you do it? How do you bounce? How do you juggle it? Then you throw on top, like if you're a mom trying to throw that on top, right? And how do you do it all when there's only 24 hours in the day? And we all know you're so, supposed to get really solid sleep, at least eight hours of those, right? Um. So let's really sit in this for a second, okay? Let's say six months, six months from now, what's today, August 30th? Okay, so, okay, there's no such thing as February 30th. So we're gonna throw in March 1st, all right? So by March 1st, <laughs> you're already thinking to yourself, right? In six months, like am I already, like by 2024, I'm already not doing what I wanna be doing six months, I'm going to be in the same place doing the same thing. My practice building is going to still feel really, really hard. People are going to start questioning whether or not I'm doing the right thing. I'm going to start questioning whether or not going branching out into my own business was the right thing, right? So then we fast forward even more to um, a year from now, March 1st, you know, 2025. Well, I guess Technically, a year from now would be August 1st. August, what is this? 30th? August 30th, 2024, right? And maybe you're back on this webinar again because, you know, Business Boot Camp always starts in September, right? You're back on this webinar. Nothing has changed. You still feel like you're missing the secret. You still feel like you don't know how to do it. More and more people are getting into the field and you feel like they're getting the hang of it, but you're still not. And then you're like, am I just going to close my doors? Am I really, am I not capable of doing this, Right. And then three years from now, if you don't take those next steps, what is three months? What is three years from now look like, right? August 30th, 2026. What is kind of the worst case scenario, right? Either nothing changes or things get worse, right? And that's not what we want for you, right? That's not what we want. Like you got into this new field, you got into this to grow and to change and to have these big picture goals, right? Like your why isn't probably just about making money. There's probably a little bit more to it. So I want you guys, we're going to spend a little time dreaming for a minute. Okay. I'm going to give you guys like two minutes. Um, <laughs> And I want you to really write down here, like, what do you actually want? What is your dream scenario? What is your dream outcome? As you come up with some of these things, again, throw them in the chat. Let's all inspire each other. Okay. I'll give you a couple of things that I want. I want to be able to make enough money to retire my parents 
and buy their home for them. I want to be able to say yes to any sort of travel that I want to do and be able to take my daughter Isabel with me and potentially travel nanny without even having to think about it. Okay. Um, I want to be able in, to in the next five years to help tens of thousands of moms grow their businesses in a way that they are making the money that they want to make. Right. Like if you're somebody who wants to make five figures in a month, write that down. If you're somebody, so some of our boot campers, their dreams, one of them's dream is to be able to take her kid to his first day of kindergarten next year and just be able to take him, drop him off, pick him up, be able to actually take her child to school. Right. And then we have another mom who her daughter loves to be super generous and give uh, people who are on the street, like homeless people or um, people who are asking for money, she loves to give them dollar bills and she wants to be able just to keep a stack of dollar bills in her wallet. And anytime her daughter sees somebody who she wants to give a dollar to, she can just give them a dollar, right? So what is it that you truly, truly want, right? Okay, Cindy, I love, I love, love it, right? Financially independent. She wants to quit her day job, right? She wants to be doing what she wants to do, Um right? Quit her day job. Some, who, whoever just clapped to that, right? Like, I know you're not the only one in here who feels that way. Oh, me and Sandy, of course not. We love that. <laughs> We're the biggest cheerleaders. Um, you know, help others live better, sleep better, thrive, right? So what is it that you really, really want? Right? And then beyond that, right? What's the why? Okay. I want to be able to run a telehealth practice so that I can make a schedule that makes the most sense for me. So I'm on my own time. So I can pick what days my daughter goes to daycare and what day she goes to grandma's house. And I can pick what time I pick her up and I can pick what time I drop her off, right? I can pick what days I want to work. I can pick what time people schedule. I want the freedom to be able to say yes whenever I want to, right? So in six months from now, my goal is to, um, Audrey, I love that. Be a mom first, but support her family with what she loves, right? Not having to choose between, well, do I get to go to my daughter's play recital or do I have to be at work to see this person, right? Those are the kinds of things, the kinds of freedom that so many people want, um, you know, to get out of that nine to five, right? That nine to five burnout, somebody else's time making somebody else money, you want to be able to have so much more. So again, oh, G said, build a team to allow myself to have some free time. Amen. I have three associates. I have three associates. And you know what? We're able to help that many more patients too. Right? So lean into that dream, right? What is it that you really want? Yes, we all want to make money. Money's great. We love it. Amen. Hallelujah. I'm here for it. Right? Right? But what does that money mean for you? What does that do for you? What are those things, right? Because why else do you want to make sales? Why else do you want patients to sign up? You want them for your health. You want to be able to help them. But also you want to be able to support yourself and your family, right? Both people on both sides can benefit from this. Um, so again, six months from now, we're, what's the dream? What's the dream on March 1st? What does that look like? We're dropping hygiene days. We're only doing my O. We're taking our kids and picking them up for school every day. We're at every single after school sports activity that we want to be. We are able to be the relaxed mom at the birthday party, right? One year from now, write the date down, August 30th, 2024. What's your life like? What are you doing? Who are you doing it with? Where have you traveled, right? Maybe, maybe the dream is being able to surprise your kids. On Christmas morning, we packed your bags the night before. You surprise them. You say, hey, we're going to Disneyland, right? We are, we're on our way. Here we are. This is what we're doing, right? What if that's, what if that's the dream, right? Can you guys feel that? 
Can you guys feel that? Does that sound like a crazy dream? Does that sound like an attainable dream? People do it all the time, right? So why couldn't you be somebody who could do that? Right? I love it. I love it. Okay. Now that we're dreaming, all right? We're dreaming, we're dreaming, we're dreaming. I want you to go, oh, hold on. Okay. So this is Kristen. Kristen's obviously in business boot camp. All right. So let me tell you guys about Kristen. Kristen's a malfunctional therapist. She's a dental hygienist. I'm going to rewind this because I want you guys to hear the whole thing. Literally, this is going to autoplay. Sorry, she surprised us all. Um, and Kristen came to me, came to boot camp. Usually, you know, out of like four to six patients, she'd maybe get two patients to sign up with her. Um, but she was motivated. She's seeing patients. She's working hard. She's working in the dental office. She's doing these things. She's doing everything she's supposed to be doing per what we've all learned, right? And so this is Kristen um, popping into our support accountability support group on Marco Polo that we have, um, sharing our wins, sharing our hard times, all the things. Um, and uh, this is Kristen. Watch this. So those are all separate Marcos. <laughs> and they're all from this month, you guys. Like they're all from the month of August. Like, and she took two weeks off, right? If what are your goals for closing patients? What are you what are you trying to do? Sorry, Megs. Uh they actually didn't get any audio on the side. So when we we're listening to Kristen, it was just blank audio. Oh. No audio? Oh, shoot. Okay. No audio. It's such a good one. I had to just kind of pipe in there, but Kristen, I'm so well, glad. I really want them to be able to hear that one. That was amazing. Okay. Well, we're going to go old school with it. <laughs> do, do, do. Okay. I just closed another one. Six for six. Oh, wait. Where's the full okay, one? Okay, I just closed another one. Do you have the full one, Sani? I don't think you sent it to your messenger. All right, well, it's cooler when it's all together. We're just doing them all separate, all right? So here I we go. Four, four. Four people ever back. So totally fun. Great day. All right. So, and then literally, two days later, I'm interesting. And I just was on the screen. I just did And was off to leave. So, well, this is a really good one. Have a great day, guys. It's not done. Okay, I just closed another one. Six for six. Did you guys hear all that? Did you guys hear it that time? So, first name was six for six in the month of August. Um, she was, she took two weeks off <laughs> from work even, and she, oh, she's crushing it. She's crushing it. So she's, you know, like two for six, maybe two for four, and just like felt like she was grinding so, so hard and trying so, so hard and barely getting 50% of her patients to say yes. And now she's, in the month of August, she's at 100%. Everybody has said yes. She's that adds up to over $12,000, I think. And, you know, we see this all the time. I'm going to show you another video here pretty, pretty quickly. We have a lot. I've got like a whole like win library. We can show you a million of those. I've been posting them on our, in the Facebook group and on my personal Facebook. So like, if you guys want to see more, we've got multiple and we're going to post them throughout the week. Um, so you can hear more everybody's different perspectives and what they've been experiencing. But what I want to know from you guys as I share my screen back again, like, here's the thing, right? There's nothing special about any of us in boot camp. There's nothing special about me, right? 
I'm a middle child. I'm in like from a small town in Oregon. I, my parents don't come from like a ton of money. Like we had a budget growing up, right? Like, <laughs> you know, yes, I'm a special human and my mother loves me. And so does my, so does my child. Um, and, but there's nothing that gave me some sort of edge over anybody else. There's nothing that gave me some sort of like secret sauce that makes me more successful than anyone else. So what I want to know from you is, can you see like really in your true heart of hearts, can you see your business making $10,000 a month? Can you see your a business that makes $20,000 a month, right? Can you see yourself being that mom, that person that everybody is like flocking to at the birthday party, right? And can you see yourself being, right? Being the one to go like surprise your kid on a, kids on a vacation, right? Um, buying your friends or your husband, like the gift that they've always wanted. Can you see yourself getting to drive like the cool car that you actually want and not the practical mom car that you're like had to get because it's practical, right? How would that make you feel? How would that make you feel? Can you imagine making $52,000 a month, right? And again, how would that make you feel? Do you think that you deserve to make that much money? Is there any reason why you shouldn't or can't make that money, right? So here's the thing, right? I'm going to jump in. I'm going to share how we get so many patients to say yes, okay? Um, and I'm going to give you guys a framework. I'm going to give you guys a framework of what we do every single time. Every single time we use to see a patient, this is exactly what we do. Um, this is why we have a 90 plus percent closing rate. This is why some of these girls in boot camp have a 100 percent closing boot camp rate, like closing rate in August. All right. This is not a secret. <laughs> um, and I want more people to be successful because here's the thing. I'm going to go on a little tangent real quick before I give these ties to you. The more successful everybody is in this field, the more people are going to take us seriously. The less educating that you're going to have to do about their providers, because this is going to be become mainstream. People are going to get it. They're going to understand it. And when any one person in this field wins and everybody else wins, we all win. So the more patients who understand what we're giving, the more doctors then understand what we're doing to help their patients, the less hard this is going to feel for everybody else. So we need everybody to be successful. We can't afford for practices not to take off. We can't afford for you guys to not be amazing at what you do and helping patients really see this. Like we, you guys being successful and us being successful is going to help create a movement within this field. And so it is important for you guys to be successful, for you guys to use these things, for you guys to be able to do these things and really thrive. So um, that is my soapbox for today. It's not, there's many, but this is why I share everything we do. This is why when you're in business boot camp or when you are an individual coaching client of mine, it's like you're living inside my house. You get to know every single thing that makes my practice 40 plus thousand dollars a month. We don't have any secrets, period. Um, the girls can tell you. <laughs> I don't, you guys can hear it from them. Like I said, it's all on my Facebook. It's all in the Not Just a Mom group. Um, Diane's going to share a, a testimonial here as well in just a few minutes. Um, so here's the thing, okay? Here's what I got for you today. Then the number one thing that I see therapists make a mistake on is that you try, you're trying to educate and prove something to the patient versus truly hearing what their problem is. Okay. We're all educators at heart. We want people to know and we want people to understand. But 
when you have a problem and you go see a provider, what do you want them to know about you? You want them to know what's wrong with you. You want to know what keeps them, what keeps you up at night. You want them to know what hurts, why it hurts, how it hurts. You want to, you want them to know what the problem is. Okay. So the first step in any, uh, you know, in any consultation, sale, whatever you want to call it, I don't care. Evaluation, put whatever name on it. Okay. A transaction in which you're about to take somebody's money. Okay. You are not the main character. You are not the star. You are not the Harry Potter. You are the Dumbledore. Okay. You're not whoever it is that's like going to look for the ring. You're what is it, Gandalf? I never actually read or watched the books. Don't hold it against me. Um, right? You are the guy. You are the person that's leading them to the solution. You're not, let me tell you what I can do for you. Let me show you like what value I bring to you. It's, hey, what is going on in your life that brought you to my door today, virtually or otherwise? What's keeping you up at night? What hurts? What is the problem? Why did this doctor refer you? Why did you go down a Google rabbit hole? Why were you on this adult tongue tied whatever support group? What is it that their problem is? Now you may know that their bad breath from snoring has a cascade of other things and what mouth breathing does and nitric oxide and fight or flight response and night sweats and bad wetting and da -da -da, nightmares, and da -da, right? They don't care. They don't, they don't care. They don't, don't want to have bad breath because they mouth breathe at night anymore, right? I know that's hard. <laughs> I know that's hard to not tell them instantly about the root cause. And instantly tell them, oh, well, this is why ABCDE happens, right? You want to offer empathy. You want to offer a safe space. You want to offer a listening ear. You don't want to interrupt at all. Even like the act of listening that you do shouldn't even be, be interrupting. It shouldn't even be like, oh, yeah, huh? oh, yep, I get that. Yep. Oh, I understand me too. Let them pour their hearts out to you. And you sit there, you nod your head, you understand right? And you hear them. You show them that you're hearing them. You don't tell them that you're hearing them. You show them that you're hearing them. You're making them feel seen and heard, right? What does every human want? To feel seen and heard, right? So you are not allowed to move on to step two until you really feel like you've got step one understood. Oh, you feel like you're having bad breath when you wake up in the morning? Tell me a little bit more about that. Well, and then my wife doesn't want to kiss me. Oh, well, then like my coffee tastes weird. Oh, well, then I get this weird fuzzy plaque on my teeth. Oh, well, then people don't really want to talk to me first thing in the morning at work, right? Whatever it is. I'm like totally making this up, um, right? Oh, well, that that sounds like that would be really hard to get ignored at work. Well, yeah, it's really impacting my, you know, it's impacting my work and I'm not getting asked to lunch as often, or I'm not, people aren't asking me to present, they're, you know, they're not wanting to do one-on-one -on -one meetings with me, right, and then I'm losing my confidence in work, and then I'm not sleeping well at night, because it's keeping me up, right, layer after layer after layer of what it is that is really bothering them. Now, some stuff's going to be a little more straightforward, okay, um, but really, like, what is it that is truly at their core keeping them up at night, okay? So once you've done your active listening skills and you've done that, we want to know what are their goals? And actually, instead of what are the goals, I should have said what are their goals, to be honest with you, because I don't want to know about your goals. They don't want to know about your goals. We're going to talk to them about their goals down, our goals for them down here, okay? No, not you, them. How do they want their life to change? What if they maybe tried before and failed? Oh, well, I've been in speech therapy for 10 years and I've never actually been able to like address this thing. I had speech therapy for a little bit as a kid, but they weren't able to help me. And then nobody ever really ended up helping me. Oh, this doctor made me a $10,000 appliance, but like it never really worked. I've never been able to actually tolerate my CPAP, but they just told me 
to suck it up, right? What have they tried before that hasn't worked? Okay. So what are their goals? What do they want? I want to wake up with not having headaches in the morning every day. I want to be able to speak more clearly. I want to be able to only go through braces once, or I want the second round of braces to be the last time I've been in braces, right? What does life look for? Here's what I say. Okay, so tell me, what does life look like for you in six months? Most of our programs last six to eight months. You work with us. We hang out together. We have a great time. We address these concerns that you were just telling me about. So what does life look like for you in six months, in eight months? And again, I'm listening. I'm asking him. I'm letting him dream a little bit, right? You guys catching on? Okay. What do they want to do to feel better? Now, we all know the goals of myofunctional therapy, okay? We already know them. We know them. We can tell them about them later, right? But what are their goals? Okay, we're the guide. We're the guide. We're the guide. They're the main character. They have a problem. We're the guide and we're going to guide them to a solution. Okay. This is where, this is where you can do some education. Great. We've got the goals. We see the vision. We see the future. Let me tell you a little bit more about what I do. Let me do an education piece that is like five to 10 minutes long and that's it. You will lose them if you educate them more than that. Basic, basic, basics. Okay. And then we're going to customize it to them, right? Great. Okay, you understand the basics. Let's talk more about these problems you're having. Let's talk more. Let's deep dive. Let's deep dive into your symptoms. Let's figure out where things fit in. Let's see what you're already doing super well so we can rule those things out. And then let's see where we can really come in and help you specifically because everybody's different, right? Then we go through, we show them all the things. We're like, bam, you've got some issues, right? You lead them there. They get there by themselves. By the end, they're like, Please tell me, help me. They're like eating out of your hand. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? Right? Then we get to the end of the road, right? You've told them, you know, you figure out the goals. You've got them there. You're like, oh my gosh, what do we do? How does, how can you help me? I need you, right? All right. They know this. They know their diagnosis. They know they need your help. And we say, hey, okay, now that you know what's going on, Here's the reason why you're doing A, B, C, D, E. Do you want to work with us or do you want to work with someone else? No, no, no. I really want to work with you. Great. We'd love to have you. How soon do you want to address insert problem here? One. How soon do you want to address the mouth breathing that's causing your bad breath? If you've done your job right, if you've let them talk, if you haven't interrupted them, if you've gone three to four layers deep on every single one of their st these steps, the answer is going to be, uh, can we start yesterday? What is it? What well, can I start right now? Actually, funny enough. Let's see. No, not, not her. Do Hold on. I have to unshare again. Well, actually, can you guys, can you guys hear this? Hey guys, we'll see you yesterday. Um, I was off to a really good start on Monday. Really excited about boot camp um, challenge here. And of course, then me and the baby get diagnosed with COVID. And That's so she was a big killer yesterday. Um, but I kind of let COVID down yesterday. But today I was like, you know what? Like, there's still stuff I could do. Um, I think, uh, going okay, so here i am um some good wins actually in the midst of all this is what i really needed them probably more than ever um was that um a patient reached out to me that was referred by a doctor i've worked with before and she wanted to schedule a consultation to leave them i wanted to do the discovery call no she wants to do myo and then she reached back out to me um today and asked if she can actually just start with session one with the consultation so Obviously, she's going to sign up for therapy, so that was a huge win. Um, I actually even had a dentist reach out to me, too. To there we go. We're all in the middle of a referral gauntlet, and there's a huge prize at the end, and I gave them the crazy, crazy thing. So, right, like, this patient, just from her conversations, right, building things up, wants to start before she even finishes the consult. Right? Wouldn't that be nice if every single person who came into your consultation already knew that they were paying for their consultation? 
That's what we do. That's what we teach. Okay, here's the thing. At any one of these steps, the biggest mistake you can make is trying to provide the solution to them too early. Is trying to jump to your solution for them. My coach calls it your shiny shit, but I won't call it that. Um, to your solution for them before they are really understanding that you understand what they need over they understand that you are truly the guide you are the person they're never going to be able to solve their problems without you in their life so all right i'm going to show you one more testimony oh good you're loving this okay good yeah give me a thumbs up while we're like going around you guys right unshare and bring up diane's here is this working for you guys you guys understanding this you're vibing on this is this like is this the vibe? All right, Christina says yes. Katrina, have you guys ever learned anything like this before? Maybe if you're on my last webinar. <laughs> okay, we're going to do a test. Can you guys hear this? Did you guys hear that? Let's see. Can you guys hear it? Nobody's answering. Nobody. Okay, no audio. How do we? All right. <laughs> Audio settings. Let's see if we can't figure this out as a team. I really want to see you guys, you guys to see these like beautiful faces on like the big screen, but we might have to just pull it back up on my phone. And that is okay. That is what we do. Um, Nick, you want to see if I can share and I can hear audio from mine? Yeah, I do. Indeed. Uh, okay. Will you try and... Oh, wait, maybe... Hold on. Can you guys hear it now? It's still muted. No? Okay. Yeah, you want to see if you can do it? Yes. Okay. And this is why you guys have a boss number two. All right. My girl, Saini. Okay. Forever. Stop sharing. There we go. Let's see if we can... Yeah, okay, there's so many no's in the chat. Let's get some yeses in here. Are you guys loving this or what? All right, let's see. Okay. Try it. It's Diane here. Review of business boot camp so far. Can we hear it? Yes. To be honest, it has changed my life. And I'm not saying that to be cliche or you know dramatic or anything, but really it actually has. I, when I signed up for business boot camp, all I thought was, I want to make more money. Period. That's it. I didn't have any other thoughts or anything. I just want to make more money. But this class has given me more than I thought um, from the beginning. My mind has, my mindset has changed my everything. How I, how I think about things has definitely changed. And I didn't think I needed that. It wasn't even on my radar. Um, I have done more in eight weeks than I did in a year and a half. You know, being a first generation American, I thought becoming a hygienist was, I made it, you know, to my family, it was, I made it, right? But I didn't, one thing that I, I learned through business boot camp was to dream. I know it sounds so silly, but I learned how to dream, right? What does that mean? So in the past, I have learned how to dream lottery big, right? Millions and billions of dollars. But here's the thing. I never bought a lottery ticket. So it was easy to think extravagant, think big, but I've never learned how to dream making $5,000 extra of what I make now a month or $10,000 a month. It just, it wasn't in the reality, 
you know, um, but Megan has taught me that it's possible. It is possible to dream and achieve those goals. And the things that she has created, the environment that she's created is seriously amazing. The, the women in this group are so supportive. I found that being a hygienist, you go to school and you get thrown into an environment that was already set up. All you have to do is work. But I didn't really understand what it meant to be a business owner. It meant that it's all on you to get yourself to where you needed to be. And I didn't realize that I had so many setbacks that Megan has taught me to basically get over. The women in this group, you guys, it's it's all awesome because I have learned that it's not a competition between all of us. The only competition you have is yourself. I've never been in an environment where, you know, you ask and you shall receive. It is it is so cool. I feel like once I got done with all my myofunctional therapy courses, you know, things will come. No, that's not the case. I found that when you asked for, you know, examples, there was quite a few people who really won't help you out. You know, being a Hawaii girl, everybody, if you're in need, people will help the most that you can. And I feel like this group, it feels like home. You know, when you're struggling, they will try to give you as much information to help you. And I feel like that's what I needed. I feel like when I began this journey, I had no idea. I had no idea how. And now I have that. You know, I, I've i learned how to dream with the tools that Megan and these girls have helped me. Now I have the tools to be able to get there. And now all I have to do is actually put in the work. So really, Business Bootcamp has really changed my life. Now I have the tools. I have the support system that I've never had, that I've actually always wanted. And so now I can dream. I can dream what it would be like to take my little boys to school and pick them up because if I have that ability because I'm making, you know, financial decisions and can make my own schedule, why not? Why can't I do these things? I thought, you know, being a hygienist, I had to find someone to do these, these things for me. And now I have a year I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep myself accountable here, but I have a year to be able to build my schedule so that on the first day of kindergarten, I can take my little boy there and he doesn't have to feel alone. So, oh God. <laughs> See, I didn't think I had this in me. And um, it's cool that now I can dream and now I can implement. And so, yeah, it's changed my life. It's it's pretty amazing so thank you thank you guys thank you megan thank you everyone <laughs> all right get off my soapbox i love it and i cried a little bit um <laughs> and obviously you guys can tell i use the term soapbox a lot <laughs> because diane just said that um and yeah diane is the one who wants to take her kid to kindergarten next year right so Okay. I created business boot camp because assistant Cindy put in here. Unfortunately, I found the same thing. Not many are willing to share their knowledge. Megan, you've been the exception. Thank you. Um, that's why I created this to begin with you guys. Because again, so Diane actually lives in my town. Her, her having success has not impacted our practice at all. Has it, Sandy? No, we've got one more two Heathers in there. Heather's here too in, in Portland and um, them being successful the last eight weeks has literally done zero to my practice besides just make me like love it even more. So, okay, my friends. So here's the thing. Here's the last part. And then you guys can all get on with your, with your lives. Um, what we just talked about, the four secret to sales, all of that good stuff. 
you can take this information out, right? Um, we've got kind of three options. So we've got three options on how you guys want to move forward. I'm going to lay them all out here for you. Okay. And you get to make a choice because like you are capable humans and I believe in you. Take this information, use this, enjoy it, start applying this to your patients, start applying this, right? Um, and that's it. Do nothing. Maybe you really start bringing in a couple patients, right? If that's you, right? If you want to just take this, take this as knowledge, education, information. I love it. I'm happy for it. Join the Facebook group. Can't wait to see you. Um, feel free to log off because that's kind of, that's it for that portion. So if you feel like that's you, no worries. Um, you know, if you feel like you just want to do it yourself, right? You're going to stumble along the way, right? You're going to figure things out as you go, apply little things here and there. You'll all eventually get there, right? You'll all eventually get there. Maybe some makes pains, bruises, paying money towards other like things that maybe don't actually help you or don't deliver what they say, right? Um, you know, option three, get yourself a time machine. Go back in time, <laughs> take everything you learned and start it all over, right? So for those of you who didn't log off and who are still here and you're like, okay, what's the next steps? What do we want to do? Um, if you want some accelerated help, then I have something for you. So if you're still on this call, I'm going to share my screen again. Do, 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 do. Maybe I'm going to share my screen. I have too many windows open. That is probably like my biggest, like, that's the biggest thing you should probably know about me is I always have too many windows open. All right. The worst part is I have business windows open, then I have personal windows open, and they're completely different screens, so it's even worse. All right. Okay, doke, my friend. So business boot camp. It starts September 11th, and I want you guys to write these things down. Okay, so here's our model for business boot camp. This is what we do. This is who we are. Right. Um, we break business boot camp up into three phases. So phase number one, write this down is building the foundation. Okay, building the foundation for us means that you are going to have and understand how to create referral sources, the upstream, the downstream. You're going to have consistent referral sources and referrals coming into your practice every month, whatever number you're at. Okay, you don't have to see 20 million patients. Nobody's going to make you. I promise. Right. We have some patients who there are some boot campers whose goals are three new patients a month. And we have some who'd like to see 10 and some people are crazy like us. And we like to see 20 to 30, whatever your number is, we're going to get you there. Okay. Also in the foundation is closing sales. How do we get your patients to say yes? We dive in even deeper than what we dove into today. We dive in even deeper and help you guys close those sales. And then we work on sales ejections. So the three biggest Four biggest sales objections. Now is not the right time. I don't have the right money. I need to talk to my spouse or partner. Let me think about it. We give you every single tool. So even if you're told any of these four things, you know what to say to that patient to help them through and get back to the decision that actually they want to do treatment. Okay. Um, <sighs> numero dos mindset. As you can probably tell from some of the things that you've been hearing today, we talk a lot about mindset. Mindset's kind of a weird word. I kind of feel like it's a weird word, like abundance, but really it's getting into the feelings and really understanding truly like a business mindset, a money-making mindset, working through imposter syndrome, working through limiting beliefs, working through the fact that you don't think that you might not be good enough to really have a successful business. We work through all that. We bust through all of that. Um, and for every single person, Every single person who's come into boot camp didn't think they needed to work on their mindset. Um, and every single person in boot camp was like, that was actually my favorite part of boot camp. So, <laughs> oh, you heard that from Diane. Again, the other girls, they've got stuff on their testimonials that they can talk about too. But yeah, it's been kind of like the inside joke of like, none of us thought we need to work on our mindsets. So yeah, here, here we all are like crushing it. So, and then of course you want to grow, right? So third thing that we do and work through in business boot camp is growth. And that is where we're working on scaling your business. We're working on bringing in more referrals and patients. We're making sure your systems are all set. Um, 
and that we are, we work on through Instagram marketing. We work through, oops, sorry, regular marketing, Instagram marketing. We do a 28 day referral sales gauntlet situation that involves a trophy. Um, that's what they're in right now. That's why there's so many updates in my groups. Um, they're crushing it. They're earning all sorts of points. They're doing all sorts of crazy things. They're having fun. They're by the end, they all should have about 40 referral sources. Um, or at least 40 offices that they've touched with. And that way they can bring referrals into their offices regularly. So we set that up. Okay. And here's what we really want to deliver to you. Okay. We want to make sure that you're making $10,000 plus a month in your practice. We want to bring you that time freedom. Your schedule, your time, what you want. And then we want to get you a closing sales rate at 90 plus percent. Nine out of 10 patients that walk through your door are saying yes to you confidently, paying the prices that you want to set at. Okay. All right. Here's the logistics. All right. Here's the first three things that we've got going on for boot camp. First of all, I'm going to make sure that you join the Facebook group. All right. And then I want to make sure that you watch the free training that we're going to be emailing to everybody. And then you're going to schedule your first. Um, your first boot camp call. So, what that looks like for us, okay? Business boot camp starts Monday, September 11th. It's eight weeks long. We meet every Monday because we start the week at boot camp, all right? Um, and then you get two bonus calls. So it's eight weeks in a row, and then you get two bonus calls on the on the third month. Um, we're going to deep dive into those three different phases that we just talked about, right? foundation, mindset, growth. Um, and then we're going, you get two two calls with me, okay? So 30 minute calls, one within the first two weeks of boot camps to goal set and really make it, make your, your vision for the next 90 days. One at the end to give you vision of what we do to move forward and continue to grow your practice. Um, anybody who wants to join boot camp, um, we also offer discounted tickets to come to our business mastermind and burnout retreat in the Dominican Republic in November. So if you really want to take it one step further, you get a discounted ticket to come to that event. Um, we already have six people from this boot camp going <laughs> to the retreat as well. So um, the people are people are pumped and we love that and we're so happy to have them. And gosh, what else? Okay, so Price for business, you guys probably know that part. Price for business bootcamp is going to be $9.97. All right, I'm going to drop that link into the chat right now because anybody who signs up for business bootcamp clicks that link, signs up on this call, also gets a second free, this third free would be the name, gets a free 30 minute money mindset call with me. Okay. If you get into boot camp, you get a thousand dollar discount on the retreat. So your retreat ticket is a thousand dollars. We're also hosting a retreat in April in Greece. So if November doesn't work out, which I hope it does, but um, the this still applies for any boot campers to come with us to Greece. Um, for those, all right. So feel free to click the link. And sign up. We already have five people in boot camp, which is kind of wild because we didn't even do this yet. But <laughs> we actually, I think, actually, I think we just got six. We had another one join this morning. Um, so the link that we just put in, um, Sadie just put it in the chat, the buy the stripe. Click that. Anybody on the call right now? Um, we've got, let's see, who's all signed up? We've got Tiffany has signed up. Reagan has signed up. All right, who else? Who else just signed up? We've got people are popping through here. Hold on. Do 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 do. Rachel just signed up. Dang, people are you guys are awesome. Jill signed up. Jessica signed up. Um I think I already said Tiffany, right? Yeah. Okay, we've already got people signing up. So, okay, so good job, you guys. You're amazing. Uh, tell me 
anybody who's still on this call, we're going to give it a few more minutes if you haven't left yet. If anybody hasn't signed up yet, but you're still here, what's stopping you? Tell me what questions can I answer? What questions do you have about the four steps that I can answer? Um, Mondays, we meet at 515 Pacific on Zoom, just like this. Um, calls are recorded, so if you can't make it every single Monday, um, they are recorded. There is a free, free Facebook group that's involved. Um, and that's where we do a lot of support. And then um, this applies to any sort of practice. We have more than myofunctional therapists in our group. We've got occupational therapists who we've helped um, grow their practices too. So this is really open to anybody who has a service-based business. Um, we have, actually, we do have people making over 10K in the group. Um, Lindsay's doubled her income. Kelsey um, has doubled her income starting at, uh, Lindsay was right about 10. She's made, she made 20 this last month and she hit that before even half the month. We've got Kelsey who has been at 15 pretty consistently and we've got her at about 25 for the month of August. Um, our goal is to get her to 30 in the next, by the end of September. Um, we meet for about an hour, hour and 15 minutes, depending on the night and depending on the questions. So any other? Oh, cost of, Judy, cost of boot camps, 997. There are financing options if you need to make a payment plan. If you put in your name and your email and you hit the affirm button, that leads you to um, the payment plan options as well. You can finance it if you need to. What other questions you guys got? I know a couple people logged off and that's okay. Is anybody in for boot camp? who hasn't said yes already. If you wanna to talk to me privately, um, you're welcome to send us a message. All right. And get any other details you might need from us. But if you sign up on the call today, if you raise your hand that you're gonna sign up on the call, um, that gets you that free, free 30 minutes. So um, would that apply to a practice in Canada? Um, G, can you... Can you clarify that? Because, yeah, this would apply to a practice anywhere. Let's see. If you want, or if you want to, um, if you want to pop on to, to ask the question. We're still working on cost of the finances for um, the cost of the Greece retreat, but it's going to be somewhere between. Like for people who aren't boot campers, it's going to be somewhere between two thousand to twenty five hundred, maybe up towards three three thousand, depending on how cool of a villa we book. <laughs> but you get a cheap, much cheaper ticket if you're on for that. All right, any other questions? Does anybody have any final, final thoughts, final questions? Anybody else jumping in on the payment link so we can make sure that we get your, perfect, Alana, you're in, I love it. Okay, did you already use the link? If not, message us afterwards and we'll get you the link and we'll get your 30, your extra 30 minute call. Signed up. Woohoo! Processing now, she says. All right. We've got another one. Delana's in. Yes, message me afterwards and we'll get you, we'll get you scheduled for your 30 minutes. There she is. She's in. Another boot camper. Okay, G. Um, I've I've answered I've answered that question a few times. Yes. Um, 
Business Bootcamp applies to myofunctional therapy in myo businesses. Or do you mean 997? Does that translate to can the Canadian dollar? Um, the next boot camp besides the September boot camp, Katrina, probably won't be until January. And then January, honestly, pricing is probably going to go up because that's just how it works. What's stopping you from starting now, Katrina? You can private message me too, if you want to. And G, you can private message us too. I and maybe I'm not fully understanding your question. All right, message us on Facebook, you guys. We'll let you go. Um, still want to make sure you message me so we can get your 30-minute call. Um, Katrina, I will private message you, okay? Um, and we can chat more about what that all looks like. So, all right, you guys, well, thanks for coming. Replay will be available. Um, if there's any of your friends that you wish you would have seen this and they didn't register for the, um, they didn't register for the webinar, then go ahead and let me know and we'll, we'll get them set up for it. So, all right, my friends, have a great night.